as we move on to the 400 meters freestyle for men. That's the eight. Romanchuk of Ukraine, the fastest in 2018. We'll see him shortly, but first we'll see Wojciech Vodak of Poland. All of these swimmers in around the 348, 349 mark. So, again, not much between all eight here. Jan Mika of Czech Republic in lane number one. Henry Christiansen of Norway just trying to get himself focused, trying to G himself up. 348 this morning. Victor Johansson. Has a 347 this year, wasn't uh, a million miles away from it this morning. 348.05 for the Swede. Felix Obiek of Austria coming in was the fastest European, but all that changed this morning. Henning Mullainer. Now, bear in mind the top five times in Europe, those swimmers are not competing. James Guy as the fastest time in Europe for Great Britain but has stopped doing the 400 freestyle now Paul Zellman of Germany goes in 5 Germans in 3 and 5 but the fastest man in the pool not only this morning but in 2018 Mikhailo Romanchuk of Ukraine 3.46 95 Good time to save your best time, isn't it? To the heats of the big competition of the year. So Paul Biederman has the world record at 3.40.07. Gabriele Detti set the new championship record. Uh, we will see Detti in other events, but not in this one. But a very well paced race by Mikhailo Romanchuk in the heats this morning. And he is just quicker than everybody else in this field, but there isn't much between them. So top of your picture down, it's Mika of Czech Republic, Johansson of Sweden, Mulleitner of Germany, Romanchuk of Ukraine, Zelman of Germany, Abek of Austria, Christiansen of Norway, and Vodak of Poland. Don't really expect this race to develop too much until about maybe 200, unless somebody wants to take it on early, and early indications are that's not the case. They're very close to that. European record split though set by Paul Biederman now surely he can't go he came back like a train so it's a lot to ask for that record which is still on the books for nine years now for that to go it was in the old shiny suit day so it's one of those uh, almost immovable ones he only beat the Ian Thoughtwell record by a tenth of a second Let's see what the split is here no they've uh, slipped outside it by 0.45 I don't think we'll see that today Romanchuk has picked up pretty much where he left off this morning. 0.14 ahead of Zelman. Then Vodak. But all eight swimmers are pretty much in the mix. Romanchuk looking the strongest though at this stage. Trying to break the back of the field as best as he can. It was a good 50 from the Ukraine. Vodak of Poland in the outside lane. Three quarters of a second back, Selman, but our leader is looking very good. It'll only be the halfway stage, of course, when they come up this end. But he's got about a body length, two body lengths ahead of the rest. The rest including Paul Selman of Germany, Abowek of Austria. There's about six of them all going over together. So Ukraine, and then we've got Vodek, and then we've got Christiansen, Abowek, Zelman, 
Lightner, all oh, pretty much in line. I tell you what, the silver and bronze could go any which way, but the gold, to me, looks like it's going to get to go in one direction. That's, of course, if he doesn't blow up. But Romanchuk is looking very strong. Look at the gap he's opening up here. It's about two body lengths with 150 to go. The gap in terms of time is over two seconds between the Ukraine and German swimmer. Then... Yamika coming into the mix in lane one. This could go certainly for second and third any which way, but the leader is extending those arms and is looking mighty impressive. Now, how much is there left in the tank? He had a strong, very strong 400 this morning. He's looking like he's getting stronger and stronger still. But then, seven go over together behind him. Silver and bronze. Your guess is as good as mine. The gold... Provided he doesn't run out of gas, surely it's going the way of Mikhailo Romanchuk of Ukraine. Second, third, fourth, fifth, all pretty much in a line. There's nothing to choose between them. When he turns, this will be the last one for Romanchuk. And that lead is, if anything, extending two and a half seconds over Abowek with Christiansen in third. Fourth is Johansson. They're all coming back, but they're not coming back at our leader, though it's probably losing a little bit of pace. They're not going to catch him, are they? 15 minutes to go. He is struggling, but he's got enough ahead of everybody else to get to the wall. This will hurt, but it'll be jubilation for Romanchuk. 3.45.18. Christiansen of Norway getting second, third to Mulleitner of Germany. And he can now celebrate that last 25 was agony for Romanchuk. For 375 metres, he looked serene. And in the last 25, that was a hard finish for our winner. But he has won it by almost two seconds. Romanchuk from Christiansen of Norway and Mulliner of Germany. Abowek missing out in fourth. There were four swimmers on 347. Christiansen in second, Mulleitner third, Abowek and Johansson all 347 separated by seven tenths of a second. But our leader was never headed. Had he had to come back for another 50 he might have been but he had enough in reserve and that's a terrific performance. 345-18 fastest time of any European in the world. Quicker than James Guy went. He did a 3.45.32 earlier in the year. So that is the fastest time by any European in 2018. Hard fought, hard won. With a terrific swim by Mikhailo Romanchuk. Who swam it the hard way. Decided he was going to take it on and say, right, you try and beat me if you think you're good enough. And ultimately, nobody else was. And gold for Ukraine. And silver for Norway, and bronze for Germany. Confirmation of that result for Euromanchuk, 345.18. Christiansen, 347. Look at those 347s there. 